Number 14, complete each of the following equations. And then we have this nuclear reaction where we have lithium with an atomic mass of seven, uh, atomic number of three, plus something, which will yield us two helium fours, right? Four on the top, two on the bottom. This is known as a alpha particle. But the thing is, is that we want to find out what this question mark is. So we are going to erase the question mark. Da -da 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 -da. And we're going to put the nucleide notation, right? Nucleide notation has one big box for the letters, right? So whatever, if this is a particle or an actual atom, we'll figure it out. And then we have the top numbers. So we'll put that in green. And then the bottom one, which is yellow, we'll put it in. So we need to find out these, oh, we need to find out these three things. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just take this, oh boy, we don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. Now, the easiest way to go about this is to treat the yield sign as an equal sign. And now we're just going to make a equation. We're going to take all of our top numbers and figure out what this guy is. So I have a seven for the lithium plus, literally it says plus X, which we're trying to solve for that top number. And then on the other side, it equals to a top number of four. However, there's two, right? There's two of these. So there's two alpha particles. There's two heliums with a four on the top. So if you see that you have coefficients for your nuclear reactions, you basically have one four on the top and another one. So what essentially do you have to do with these two numbers? Yeah, you got to multiply them. But now we're just going to set all the top numbers together. So let's see. We're going to say 7. So 7 plus the x value that we're trying to solve for. So we'll put that in green. 7 plus x equals 2 times 4 is 8. Now if we just do the math, right? You'll subtract seven on both sides and we get X equal to one. So we know that we got a one going on on the top. Now we're going to do the same thing with the bottom numbers, right? We got an atomic number of three for lithium. We want to find out what that bottom number is. And then I got a two on the bottom for my alpha particle. But since I have two of them, what do I have to do? You got it. We got to multiply. So the bottom is going to be 3 plus x equals 2 times 2 is 4. And if we just move it on over, right, minus 3 on both sides, we get x equals to being a 1. So we know that we have a 1 on the top and a 1 on the bottom. Now, the question is, who is this element or who is this particle? Well, in this case, since we have a number on the top and the bottom, it definitely is one of our periodic table elements, but who is it? Now, in this case, since the numbers are the same, it doesn't matter which number you look for, but always know that it's the bottom number that's always going to tell you who the atom is because the bottom number is your atomic number. And Every element has its own unique atomic number. It has its own unique number of protons. So you always got to look for the whole numbers on the periodic table. So like these guys, right? 21 through 30. But in this case, we just got to find number one. And bada bing, bada boom, it's the first element. And that's a hydrogen. So this has to be capital H. Now, also know that if you have a one on the top and a one on the bottom and a hydrogen... This is the same thing as saying a one on the top and a one on the bottom as a proton. So lowercase p for proton. These are identical to each other. So all you're doing is you're just adding a proton, which is a hydrogen atom, um, to your lithium to get two alpha particles, aka the heliums. So it doesn't matter whether you put an H here or if you put the P, it's, you know, identical. So you should get full credit for both of them. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we have memberships open at the moment. If you want to become a member to the channel, there's four tiers, tons of perks. Uh, maybe 
one of them suits your fancy. Thank you so much for the additional support. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. And let's keep working hard. Keep studying hard. You got this and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.